my apologies, AO is the area area enclosed by the shear flow path. So it's the area enclosed by by the ligatures, by the steel ring there. So that is 300 minus 30. We'll also go to the center line of the ligature this time. So that is 300 minus 30 minus 30 minus 5 minus 5. That's the 30 on that side, the 30 on that side, and 5 is half of that 10 mil bar. And that's all times the height, which is 450 minus 30 minus 30 minus 5 minus 5, which equals 30 minus uh, 300, sorry, minus 60 minus 70 is 230 times 450 minus 70 is 380. 230 times 380, which is 87,400 square millimeters. Okay, that's the AO, that's that character right there. So we've got all the stuff in this equation now, so we can work it out. So our V star EQ equals the square root of V star squared. Now, uh, we're going to work in, I guess if we have that, we have to work in, in newtons and millimeters, because otherwise we might run into troubles here. So let's put our V in newtons, which is 200,000 squared. Hope you like working in big numbers. 0 0.9 times, now our T has to be newton millimeters, which is 10 million. And that's because 10 kilonewton meters, to get rid of the kilo, you'd multiply by a thousand to get rid of the millimeters, meters into millimeters, another thousand. So that's 10 million newton millimeters times UH, which we decided was 1260 millimeters, all over to times the area, which is 87,400. All right, let's work that out. So that equals square root of 200, 200,000 is Four times one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh dear. I think it's 40 million times 10 to the 6. Plus, let's work that out. 0 0.9, 10 million times 1260 times all that divided by 87, 400 divided by and divided by 2. Gives us that plus six four eight seven four. Add those together, take the square root, and that ends up with the wrong answer. Where do we go wrong? Hang on, I'll pause while we have a look.